currently the beginning of the week and I am trying to get in the best mood possible and I actually feel like on Mondays I feel very refreshed compared to Fridays even though I guess Fridays they are supposed to be more relaxing but so just to give you guys a heads up about what I am working on at least I know in my previous vlogs I've been a little bit scattered I think just like watching back and seeing them um, especially while I'm editing too I'm just like wow I look kind of crazy here so yeah I'm gonna try to be more focused in this one so basically I have a few big items I have to get done today so we were waiting for the approval from a few people for something this past weekend or over the weekend and I just got that so I'm going to be reviewing that and there's basically this process um, or approval process that our team goes through and one big thing that I guess I previously mentioned I think um, I think in my last vlog I might have wrote it in text but there's a team inbox that I monitor on a daily basis so you'll find that a lot of I think a decent amount of cybersecurity teams have a mailbox that they monitor which is usually for events um, instant response if something happens they usually have to you know kick something off or hand it over to another team or it could be events like if there's a phishing email that was found so yeah usually I am watching this inbox almost all day when I am sitting in at work and just waiting for things to come in um, if there's any requests from other teams that we can help with me and my team are usually the ones that kind of take that and then my next thing is a python script that i've been working on and i know i mentioned it before mostly complete there's a few requirements um, that my manager kind of wanted changed so i have a call with them later at 10 today and just to review anything that they might want updated but for the most part i think that's been a very small part of my my day or my time in general i only work on this python script maybe an hour or two a week i haven't really updated the last month besides last week yeah it's relatively like back burner ish just because it will make some of the other processes for my team a lot easier if we have that completed so i think that'll be done anyway by today oh and the next big thing i have to work on is a presentation deck usually i have to work on this on a monthly basis and it's usually about my team and i think you'll find that with a lot of security teams and i guess just tech teams in general there's usually some kind of dashboard or metrics that you're using to make sure everything is running smoothly so this deck is kind of like my team's version of that so i'm gonna do that i think after my call with my manager and then just uh i don't think that one should be that time consuming just because i already know everything that's gonna go into the report it just needs to be updated with this month's numbers and metrics in the afternoon i have two calls related to some dni initiatives and those are just um diversity and inclusion volunteering projects that i work on and yeah that is kind of my kickoff for the vlog so i'm going to get back oh i had an early meeting this morning um around 8 a.m and um another call with one of my teammates it's about 9 a.m right now and i have an hour almost exactly yeah before my call with my manager to go over that script and a bunch of you have been asking me about the best languages to learn i do have a video on the top seven languages for cybersecurity or to learn in general and i can link that video down in the description below but if anything i really think python is a good language to learn that is beginner friendly you can do almost anything with it uh it's relatively little setup all you need to do is download the python interpreter and i mean or pycharm yeah i mean I, I wouldn't use it to build out large data flows and pipelines but i would use it for like small scripting and maybe a lightweight website and stuff like that yeah um it's definitely been really convenient especially the python libraries that are available they're very very top notch and most of those are actually written in c c plus plus so um that makes them more efficient than you know just regular python yeah i will get back to my script and then i'll talk to you guys in a bit guys i just finished my meeting and it went really well um so my manager said this is what she's looking for but there's one thing that i need to change that i was already kind of working on before anyway since i figured that would be something that we need um so that's the only part i'm going to be working on today and right now i'm just sanity checking my code to make sure it runs with everything if anyone's learning how to code don't worry like you'll always be googling for the rest of your life anyway so 
Okay, so while the script is running, it looks like, oh, I should have timed it when it started, actually. So it started about seven minutes ago, so let's see. How much longer this runs for? I don't think it should take more than like 10 minutes. I, I figured there would be some kind of slowness since I'm pulling a lot of data. Um, but yeah, I'm also drinking this drink that we got from, I think, Yami Bai. It's kind of like Asian Gatorade, Chinese Gatorade. Plenishes liquids. And this one is peach flavor. Like this tastes so natural. Like it just tastes like flavored water. And I kind of wish that Gatorade had something like this where it wasn't like 100% sweet. Actually, this has a lot of sugar too. So it just tastes like it doesn't, but it does. 12% of your daily carbs, 58% of your daily added sugar. So that's actually a lot. Some requests did come in into my mailbox and I have to check on a few things for my manager. So, and I also did just get off a call with my um, teammate and I went over some of the stuff I was working on with her. And yeah, I think that's kind of what my day is gonna look like. I don't have another meeting until one o'clock. And as an aside, I feel like this is even more of a reason to maybe try dabbling in some code if you're thinking about it because I haven't really used it that consistently, even like C Sharp or Java. Even in my role, it, I'm not a developer at all, but it, there was still a use case where I needed to make a Python script or come up with something like that. Yeah, because of that, I feel like it's so useful to have that skill in your back pocket and it makes you a lot more valuable to your team and just being able to figure things out like that or being able to just like code something up that might be um, automating a process. up some lunch now i'm like getting through some of my changes just want to do some sanity checks just in case i feel like with python at least since i'm not using like pycharm um i can't just step through my code with a debugger um i'm like relying on print statements so i'm going to come back and review this at a glance this looks right mm -hmm. but i'll come back and review Basic BLT sandwich. Hey guys, I'm still going through my Python script, but I did finish a meeting with one of the DNI projects I'm working on, and that actually ended last week. So we're basically closing everything out now and preparing for that, um, giving recognition for all our volunteers, basic stuff like that. And I think my next meeting is actually only in a minute but i have another call where i'm gonna be going over a different dni project that i'm working with okay let me double check yeah and this whole time i've been working on my python script since basically i logged into work um outside of my um meetings and my manager wanted me to pass this over to her today I'm trying i think i have everything i just need to delete these columns but the columns are easier because they're just columns that aren't needed and i can just delete them but and this is just csv cleanup at this point guys um nothing too fancy but i think i got it but i'm gonna join my meeting and talk to you guys in a bit all right guys i just finished um my last meeting and i also finished my python script that i was telling you guys basically all day about one thing in my team at mailbox that came in that i have to look into uh for my manager and then everything else i'm basically completed with oh wait actually i haven't worked on my deck that i mentioned to you guys at all today because i was working on my python script basically all day now that it's finally complete and i sent over the output to my team i think everything's gonna be good on that end and then i did just follow up with someone else on my uh, DNI volunteering team for something that we need to submit by I think midweek. Yeah, that's kind of what my afternoon has looked like. It is about three o'clock ish, and I think this deck won't take too long for me, so I'm just gonna do that after I get this uh, one request from the mailbox off my plate because because this one is a bit more time sensitive compared to the deck, which isn't due until tomorrow, end of day. So or midweek end of day. So I will be working on this. Oh, I still have a meeting at the end of the day at five, which I think I already know what that's gonna be about. Yeah, that's kind of what my day's gonna look like. Um, Every day this week is a little bit less meetings compared to my usual. Like last week I was having five to six hours of meetings a day. And this week 
I have like four hours of meetings a day, which is a lot better. So, well, four, four or five, uh, yeah, it, it's still a lot better than last week. What a hardworking developer. Also still drinking my Asian Gatorade. Okay, so I am kind of feeling snack-ish right now. So we have this table of snacks that you guys may or may not have seen before, but it's very messy. So I know it looks very gross, but it's like a mix of miscellaneous things over here and then our protein stuff. And then we recently got a GoPro because we're going on a trip. So yeah, there's gonna be like a lot of scenic views. And then we got this just to try out. And then snacks are here. So I recently got an order from Boxu, which was very expensive, but it's like a Japanese um, snack box. And this is one of them. Things that we, this is one of the things that we got. It's a matcha daifuku. It's kind of like a mochi, like this. And then there's these like cheese, and then another mochi. Um, we also have like a pudding flavored mochi, chocolate crispy stuff. And then under here we have some more snacks, but I don't want to dig through it, so. working on my update also made a smoothie matcha maker from revive it's an ice matcha latte smoothie and i think there's avocado in here i used to really hate avocado not gonna lie i feel like it just tasted like dirt because it didn't really have a distinct flavor it was just very earthy but after a while i started liking guac and then now i'm okay with avocados but i wouldn't just eat them you know um, but I guess they don't taste too bad in this smoothie. But yeah, honestly on this team, time goes by so fast. It's already 4 o'clock and I don't know, it, it just feels so crazy to me. Because in my previous team, I feel like, I don't think I was, I had a lack of things to do. But on this team, I think it's just more fast paced and it just goes back to that, that law of, I forget what it's called, but it's like your work fills up the time that you need to, to do it or something, or that you have to do it. So if you have eight hours in one day to do something, then you'll take that full eight hours to do it. And I feel like that was the case with my previous team, even though I didn't feel like I was as busy as my current team. So yeah, I guess I am kind of picking up, I guess, everything. Um, I did just ask my manager a question about something. So I'm waiting to hear back on that. just want to save you guys an end of day update it is about five o'clock i have or almost five o'clock actually i have a meeting at five um but after that i'm just gonna go pick up dinner so i figured i would just catch up with you guys now so i have about five minutes but yeah basically there's been a lot going on in terms of changes and i'm sure you guys are probably seeing it in your companies too if you're working or probably even in school if you're going back to school but basically this is really a busy time for career changes and i feel like maybe end of summer is just normally this busy but but there have been a lot of people that i know that are switching roles or um starting a new company or starting their own different things so it definitely is really exciting but um it does definitely make me a little sad too just when people leave and i feel like i'll never talk to them again but obviously that's not 100 percent true and of course you can always reach out on linkedin or on the phone so yeah i guess it's just a slight feeling of maybe a little bit of sadness since things are changing but but of course change is expected and and honestly there's a lot of good that can also come out of change like this especially with teams companies if you're switching out of your company or um moving into a new team congratulations and good luck yeah i guess i would just kind of talk about that because it's been on my mind um because a few people that i worked with that uh, i really respected and looked up to are now pursuing other things but that doesn't necessarily mean that's a bad thing but of course i'm very very happy for them and the opportunities that came up i guess the point of what i'm trying to say is change can feel a little shaky but what's meant to be will be and i feel like being able to embrace that and and what is that quote it's like the only constant in life is change so yeah for anyone out there who's kind of also dealing with some feelings about um i guess a lot of people moving around, shifting, things changing, your team changing, maybe companies, policies, stuff. A lot of things in the air right now. So, so I hope you give yourself that space to kind of grasp everything, take a deep breath, take a step back, um, look at the bigger picture, figure out where you are in life and where you want to be in 5, 10, 15 years. And 
maybe just take a look and see if you're still on the right track for your goals and what you're looking to do because obviously reevaluating these things every once in a while can be very helpful just to i don't know keep you in check for all of the things that you have planned for yourself so yeah i think with that um i'm probably gonna close out the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications i post videos every wednesday at 2 p.m and sundays at 12 p.m and let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments um with work school boot camp anything um life i don't know there's just a lot going on and i i definitely feel that in the air all right hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye